Turning to the offense, Clayton, the Hassan Haskins story has been a much different one than a lot of stars who just are highly recruited, signed, wait for their playing time, get the chance, and take off from there. You know, running back, switch to linebacker, switch back to running back. Uh, I think it was two years ago against Illinois, and I watch a lot of mission football. The only games I'm not going to watch are the MAC games or the games that they typically take care of, but I'm watching everything else, eight or nine games a year. And I think it was against Illinois. Suddenly I'm watching and, and I'm getting the story on Hassan Haskins, and I'm like, where'd this guy come from? Because it was Zach Charbonnet and some other guys at, at the time, um, Chris Evans in particular. But, um, he emerged at that point, took over the position. It's pretty much been his as the inside guy. Blake Quorum's kind of taken over in regards to, in some aspects, the lead back. Obviously, he's the explosive guy, but Hassan Haskins obviously had a big game against Nebraska, and they really needed him to chew up the big yardage uh, and the tough yards. He's got eight touchdowns and almost 500 yards this year. Yeah, you mentioned that 2019 season when he burst onto the scene after being a linebacker. Chris Evans was suspended for that season during an you know, for an academic issue, no one knew who the running back was going to be coming into the season. He came on, you know, about halfway through. You're right, that Illinois game. He had a really good game against Notre Dame. And ever since then, he's just gotten better and better. And he's a unique runner. I, it's hard to compare him, you know, for Michigan fans out there. Davion Smith is a decent comparison, but he's much better. And I think a little faster as well than Davion Smith. But he's that physical guy who does play like he's a linebacker. Uh, who gets those extra yards? And you know, I don't know if you met you noticed in the Nebraska game that horrible spot they gave him on that third down, and Jim Harbaugh challenged or whatever, but they wouldn't let him challenge it at first. And you know, he was marked three yards short. And Harbaugh said after the game that you know maybe the refs didn't even believe you know how incredible he is at picking up the extra yards with his you know just keeping those feet churning and the physicality that he plays with. So uh, he's been great. Over 400 yards for him. Blake Corum has over, or yeah, over 600 rushing yards himself. This is a great one-two punch for Michigan right now. They both bring something a little bit different. Uh, Hassan Haskins is the thunder, and Blake Corum is the lightning, as they've kind of dubbed it. And uh, you know, I think that fits this duo right now. But Hassan Haskins, not only is he steady and consistent, which is great to have at a you know in a running back, but he he's pretty clutch too. Like when Michigan needs a big run. He kind of comes up with it in like he did when they needed to tie the game there in the fourth quarter. He has a 50-yard run with that hurdle uh, where, you know, usually a hurdle, a guy's crouched down, you know, super far, and it's obvious, like, all right, this guy's going to jump over. You know, he was kind of, you know, breaking down a little bit and was lower, but that was uh, – he got pretty high on that. And then to keep going in stride I thought was the most impressive part. So Hassan Haskins, Michigan's going to continue to lean on him and Blake Corn, who ripped off a nice, uh, you know, second half touchdown there, 29 yarder around the left end. Uh, this running back room, I, I did a, you know, report card for the midseason. I gave the running backs an A because there's really, you know, you know, you kind of run out of good things to say about them as well. Um, and they've just been super solid. So uh, Hassan Haskins, huge part of this offense and a huge reason why Michigan is, uh, you know, I'm sure we'll talk about the quarterbacks able to, you know, keep things a little bit lighter on the quarterbacks in terms of load. Um, it's because they have these great backs. They can just hand it to and let them run.